Well, hello, all you beautiful people working on your uh, make your own pillow challenge. This is that yarny zebra. I have um, a little stitch marker in here holding my spot for the rectangle that is completed and is in place on the pillow um, front. I am leaving a long, long, long um, tail so that this can be just stitched right on whenever we get ready. So this tail will be um, stitched on and to, to put this gizmo where it belongs. Oops, sorry. Got a little bit too carried away there with the focusing. Now we are going to work on the little rectangle, uh, triangle. So let us do what we need to do here to get um, our first little slip knot so we can start our corner to corner. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this started and we're going to start just the way we did when we first worked up the red part of this pillow so one two three we're going to pinch four five six we're chaining up six oh yes we're going into that floor of that and go right here third the third chain from the hook we're going in for our next one we need to get this baby going here double crochet one more get it right in there okay pull some yarn out all right we're going to chain six like we just did the first time one two three pinch the third one up four five six okay we're going right back into that third one double crochet Double crochet. Can't seem to get this to focus good for me. And we're going right in to do the next double crochet. One, two. And we're going to turn up this first one that we did. The first one, two, three, four. We're going to pick it up and turn it up go in and do our very first slip stitch right there there we go now we're focusing and then we're going to chain three one two three get right in here make sure I've got all that I don't want to have any split yarn this is the second double crochet and then this is the last double crochet all done into that chain three space okay 
looks like a little heel or a shoe here. We're going to chain six again. One, two, three, pinch, four, five, six, yarn over, come down into this bottom part here, or I call it the floor of that uh, little chain. So we can get two loops on our hook. Let's do that again. Go into the floor. And the last one. Take off those two. And there's our four. One, two, three, four. Flip that little boot right up here and we are starting our wonderful uh, steps chain three now double crochets one two and three here's the chain three one two and three join it with a slip stitch snug that down one two three first double second double and this is the third double crochet and we're back to our chain six three pinch four five six and here we go right down in there one Two, pull me some yarn out here. I'm going right down into that. And this is the third one. Remember, we pick this up, flip it up, join with a slip stitch. And you can see we are getting our step and stones going or our stairs. Chain three. And keep working. I'll meet you at the top. Okay, I'm at the very top of this last uh, step. And I am not chaining six because we have our we have our triangle and we're just going to lay it down right here to see what it looks like on our aha this is our tail we're going to weave in but this is basically where we are at the moment so we got our uh, subscribe pillow going on and we've got our rec our triangle set here on top of our rectangle and we're going to applique those on with our stitching that we have leave a long tail out sorry I'm trying to get that to focus we'll leave a long tail so that this can be um, using our embroidery needle to put that in and that will be in our next tutorial we'll also work on this part here um, taking care of those little edges so it will be more of a rectangle and a triangle so we'll get it set up you all thanks for watching and have a blessed day Jesus loves you and so do I we're moving right along with this make your own pillow challenge. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.